AIDS. Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. AIDS, is the deadliest pandemic in humans, and it is caused by a RNA virus called Human Immunodeficiency Virus. AIDS is the last stage of HIV infection. AIDS is, first identified by Dr. Luke Montagnier and his colleagues. It is estimated that 8 to 10 million adults and 1 million children worldwide are infected with HIV virus. AIDS is one of the sexually transmitted disease. 73% HIV is acquired by sexual contact. The first AIDS case in India was in 1986 from China, since then there has been a rapid spread of HIV infection all over the country. 80% of males and 20% females almost 90% with HIV were in the age group 15 to 40 years. AIDS is received from the infected person. So it is said to be acquired. AIDS, is caused by the infection, of RNA virus on lymphocytes, as a result the activity of T helper cells is depressed. This leads to the suppression of the immune system hence the name immunodeficiency. As the initial infection of virus paved the way for the development of complex of disease. It is called syndrome. Structure of HIV. Replication of HIV. Steps in the HIV replication cycle. Fusion of the HIV cell to the host cell surface. HIV RNA, reverse transcriptase, integrase, and other viral proteins enter the host cell. Viral DNA, is formed by reverse transcription. Viral DNA, is transported across the nucleus and integrates into the host DNA. New viral RNA, is used as genomic RNA and to make viral proteins. New viral RNA and proteins, move to cell surface and a new, immature, HIV virus forms. The virus matures by protease releasing individual HIV proteins. Sources of HIV HIV is transmitted through unprotected sexual intercourse. 5 to 10 percent adults are infected by sharing HIV infected needles. HIV is transmitted by transfusion of infected blood. A pregnant woman with HIV can pass the virus to her fetus during pregnancy or childbirth. Sometimes women pass HIV to the baby by breast milk. Symptoms of AIDS HIV infection. Some of the late stage symptoms of HIV infection are rapid weight loss, recurring fever or profuse night sweats, extreme and unexplained tiredness, prolonged swelling of the lymph glands in the armpits, groin, or neck, diarrhea that lasts for more than a week, sores of the mouth, anus, or genitals. Pneumonia. Red, brown, pink, or purplish blotches on or under the skin or inside the mouth, nose, or eyelids. Memory loss, depression, and other neurological disorders. Transmission of HIV AIDS. Sexual contact, both homosexual and heterosexual. Blood transfusion. Mother to fetus, through the placenta. Injection with unsterile syringes and needles. Breastfeeding, by infected mother, diagnosis or detection of HIV AIDS. ELISA enzyme linked immunosorbent assay. Western blotting. PCR polymerase chain reaction. Control or prevention of HIV transmission. Syringes, needles and other materials should be sterilized. Avoiding of sharing materials. Screening of blood before transfusion. Sexual contact with sex workers should be avoided. Use of condoms during sexual contact. Treatment for HIV AIDS. There are 31 antiretroviral drugs approved by the Food and Drug Administration to treat HIV infection. These treatments do not cure people of HIV or AIDS. Rather, they suppress the virus, even to undetectable levels, but they do not completely eliminate HIV from the body. Even after taking antiretroviral drugs, an infected person can transmit the virus, and must continuously take antiretroviral drugs, in order to maintain their health quality. One of the antiviral drugs, include integrase inhibitor, these helps in preventing the integration, of viral genome into the host DNA. AIDS Red Ribbon It's an AIDS awareness ribbon, it is a symbol of solidarity, 
of people living with HIV AIDS. Every year December 1st, is observed as World AIDS Day, and is dedicated to raise awareness of the AIDS, pandemic caused by the spread of HIV infection.